Travis Kelsey was extremely angry because of Joe Coy's stupid joke, the NFL star on his way to the award ceremony. He's hunting down the person who insulted his girlfriend Taylor Swift, on Sunday night, the 81st annual Golden Globe Awards, and the first after the Hollywood Foreign Press Association dissolved in 2023, took place at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. 2024 Golden Globes host Joe Coy couldn't resist a joke about audience member Taylor Swift. A last-minute attendee with the 2023 concert film of her blockbuster era's tour, Taylor Swift, the era's tour, was nominated for a Motion Picture and Box Office Achievement Award, one of two new awards at the 2024 award ceremony. As you know, we came on after a football doubleheader, Coy said early in the show, tipping to the fact that the Globe started airing on CBS right after an NFL showdown between the Philadelphia Eagles and New York Giants. The Big Difference Between the Golden Globes and the NFL On the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift, I swear. The crack is a reference to the much lampooned reality that ever since the world famous pop star began dating Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey and attending numerous NFL games, NFL broadcasts have been replied with reaction shots of Swift watching her boyfriend from the crowd, not to mention a seemingly endless supply of Swift related puns from NFL announcers. In response to Coy's joke, Swift gave a deadpan, poker face reaction and simply took a sip of her wine. However, this stupid action of Joe Coy reminded the audience of the disastrous 2022 Oscar ceremony, where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock for making fun of his wife Jada Smith. Many people believe that, if Travis Kelsey was present at the event, the Kansas City Chiefs legend certainly would not leave Joe Coy alone. But that's not necessarily luck for the host. Because an anonymous source told Nat FL that Travis Kelsey is on his way to the Golden Globe Awards. The source emphasized that Travis Kelsey was extremely angry and determined to hunt down Joe Coy, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are the most beloved couple in America and the world at the moment. Not only because they are shining stars in their fields, but also, the couple are kind and sincere people. That's what makes fans especially love and wholeheartedly support this romantic relationship. After six months of dating, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey have spent the holidays together, introduced their families, and declared their love for each other more openly than anyone she's dated in the past decade. A source told Nat FL that the couple's relationship has grown stronger as time has passed. The source said they are, closer than ever and everyone around them can see that they are a great couple. They enjoy being together no matter what they are doing and appreciate the little things in life. The source also provided insight into what they look like in private, and why they believe this could be a good fit for them, they try to live as normal a life as possible. As a couple and are enjoying the growth and development of their relationship. The source said. They believe timing is everything and this is their time. The source added, their families are supportive and everyone on Travis's side loves Taylor and vice versa. It's a supportive force all around. Their loved ones have never seen them so happy and hope and believe that will continue. Taylor herself spoke in a December interview with Time about her comfort with being more public with Travis. When you say a relationship is public, it means I get to see him doing what he loves, we show interest in each other, other people are there and we don't care. Mind, she said. The opposite of that is you have to go out of your way to make sure no one knows you're seeing someone. And we're just proud of each other. We actually had a significant amount of time, privately dating, without anyone knowing, which I'm very grateful for because we got to know each other, Taylor told Nat FL. When I went to watch that first match, we were already a couple. I think some people thought they saw our first date at that match. We will never be neurotic enough to go on a first date. The explosion of Taylor Swift the era's tour is not only a testament to skyrocketing media effects or sky-high sales, but rather, the public can see an unbelievable effort nearly two decades old. Not only in music, Taylor Swift has now become a leading icon when it comes to a series of musical milestones. And it seems that ever since, a series of press and media writers have mentioned Taylor Swift as a case study of a strategy that creates multifaceted influences on the female singer. Undeniably, 
Taylor Swift had an unbelievable 2023. These series of achievements become even more surprising when looking back at the 34-year-old female singer. Perhaps Taylor Swift is one of the few entertainers to achieve these things solely based on music and performance skills. Once again, the female singer proves that she is not only talented in the music field, the title of self-made billionaire also shows her wisdom in business strategy. Many experts believe that she will go even further on her next journey. And of course, it is difficult for anyone to predict how big of an impact those steps can have. Because, after everything the female singer born in 1989 has done recently, even though she wouldn't dare say she had the same explosion as the Beatles in the 1960s, the female singer of the song Enchanted still can't help but make her angry. The public was stunned. T-Swift effect, or also known as, Taylor effect, is a hot phrase on social networks recently that makes many people curious. This phrase appeared to refer to the effect of the appearance of the country music princess, every time she holds a performance at a certain venue, it is like a series of different revenues accompanying it. The T-Swift effect refers to the economic boost in cities where Taylor Swift holds concerts, as well as the significant increase in sales of any event or product that Taylor Swift use. Every success must have a strategy behind it. During the blockade due to the global pandemic in 2020, Nat FL analyzed that Taylor Swift's release of albums in the indie folk, folklore and evermore genres is proof that the female singer grasps the public's psychology. Koenigsberg, associate professor at the University of Oregon Institute of Music and Dance, commented, the album, was exactly what the culture needed at the time, a pensive album, reflecting the feeling of isolation in society. People will crave a show to mingle and be vibrant after days of separation and loneliness. When you are connected to each other through music, burning your heart out at concerts, no matter where you live, you all have a common theme about this world tour. Without a doubt, that is how Taylor conquered the audience and the world thanks to the strategy of capturing the needs of the majority of the public and society. While the public was still talking about the singer's popularity, Harvard University suddenly announced that there would be a class next semester called Taylor Swift and Her World, Taylor Swift and Her World. This is a lecture on aspects of Taylor's work and career from a relevant literary, poetry, novel, memoir, lens. Berklee College of Music in Boston now offers a class on Taylor Swift's songwriting techniques to help their students become more informed in their songwriting. It can be seen that now Taylor is not only an emerging phenomenon in music or for young people, but a testament of a subculture built by many factors from personal color. Outreach Strategy and Social Influence The 81st Golden Globe Awards hopes to broaden its horizons with two new award categories purposely snubbing streaming platforms as it pits Taylor Swift against John Wick and Ricky Gervais against Chris Rock. The first fresh category, Cinematic and Box Office Achievement, purposely snubs all streaming platforms, meaning none of their latest releases can ever make the list of nominees except under one condition. Theatrical blockbusters that were in cinemas can be nominated in this category as it ranks the year's highest earning and or most viewed films as the announcement explained. Films must earn a minimum of $150 million, £117 million, total box office gross, with $100 million, £78 million, from U.S. domestic box office, in order to be eligible but Golden Globe's President Helen Honey highlighted that it's not all about the money as the flicks also need to be artistically exceptional. 